Welcome to this premiere edition of Cars with Big Boy Tribe. If you love cars like myself, then check out what we have in store for you for the next 13 episodes. Diesel technology has changed over the years. What car would you pick? Tender. X3, the baby boss. I love the ambience. Road trip time. Events over here. Intelligent lighting. <laughs> Toyota Kenya takes up Suzuki franchise. Japanese car maker Suzuki has found a new home at Toyota Kenya. As of January 2019, Toyota Kenya will support the brand across the country by introducing sales, service, and spare parts. The first new model to be introduced into the country is the all-new Jimny Mini Offroader that has received critical acclaim across the globe. Along with the Vitara Soft Roader and the Nippy Alto, Suzuki is set to invigorate the local market by offering durable and quality vehicles for the Kenyan consumer. Volkswagen starts a new Polo production in Kenya. Volkswagen has officially begun the assembly of the new Polo hatchback at the Kenya Vehicle Manufacturers Facility in Thika. This new generation Polo bears the Volkswagen family face with angular headlamps, bigger grille, and a clean profile across the body panels. Key rivals include the Renault Sandero and the Ford Figo. Step inside the Polo and you notice the redesigned dashboard lined with soft touch plastic a bigger audiovisual panel, and comfortable ergonomic seats. Safety-wise, the Polo gains electronic stability program, anti-lock braking systems, and multiple airbags. In terms of pricing, it will cost roughly about 1.69 million Kenya shillings with a three-year, 120,000 kilometer warranty. BMW finds a local partner with Inchcape. Premium German brand BMW has made Inchcape its official dealer in Kenya starting January 2019. Now this marks an end of a 10-year partnership with Simba Colt Motors subsidiary Bavaria Motors. BMW Global handed BMW South Africa the custody of the sub-Saharan region, which is untapped and full of potential. The German brand has over the past three years introduced new products like the X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, X6 and the colossal X7 SUV to be introduced in 2019. These new products indicate an industry shift from smaller cars to SUVs and soft roaders. It will be interesting to see how Inchcape will juggle BMW and rival Jaguar Land Rover, which they acquired the dealership rights last year. Keep it CBBT for more details. a wrap from the news desk. Up next, we sample the brand new Ranger Vela in Cape Town, South Africa. So what comes to mind when you hear the word Range Rover? Performance, capability, luxury, and that has been the hallmark of this brand since 1970. So today, we are reviewing the brand new Range Rover Vela. So before we drive this vehicle, we want to just take a quick look of this vehicle. You can see the design. It still has the hallmark Range Rover elements. So you have your floating roof, you have your clamshell bonnet, and of course, the creasing waistline that goes all around makes it elegant. From first look, you can just see this is a Range Rover, but we need to go inside and just see what makes this car a perfect Range Rover for you. Let's walk in. 
So step right in and you're greeted with a lovely ambience. This is the Range Rover Vela, the one that will take Range Rover to the 21st century. So we fire it up and immediately you are attracted by the touchscreen duo which is the, the centerpiece of this center console. So on the top, it's like a tablet style thing and you can connect your telephone through Bluetooth. You can check out navigation and do whatever you want to do with it. And of course, you can enjoy the brilliant sound 23 speaker Meridian audio system. And right below it is the vehicle's information system. It gives you a detailed analysis of what's happening to the vehicle. So you can switch on traction on and off. You can control terrain response. You can warm your seats and you can change the climate. And right here, as you can see here, is also a digital 10-inch display. So you have your uh, tachometer, you have your speedometer, and it gives you literally the important information that you need when you're driving this particular vehicle. And also, there's a brand new system here. Instead of using buttons, satellite buttons on the steering wheel, it's a touch system. So it, it gives you that tactile feel. Sitting in the Vela in the back seat is certainly a comfortable affair. You can see I have ample headroom and just enough legroom for me. And remember, I'm a 12 person and big person. You have your contoured seats that sink inside to make you feel as if you're in business class. And of course, you can actually literally control everything. So if you have aircon, you control your vents over here. And then you can also have um, a, a personal information system where you can watch your videos, music, and TV uh, at the back without interfering in the front. And over here, you have an armrest. An armrest, you can keep your drinks here and then you can actually plug in your USB to watch whatever you want and you can charge your phone, which is very important in the 21st century. We're gonna drive through this beautiful French mountain pass and see if it is as capable as the name suggests. On today's trivia challenge, what is the specific power output of the 2018 Nissan 962 Patrol? Send your answers to Big Boy Trev Twitter handles as seen below. Toyota Kenya Limited is one of Kenya's largest vehicle distributors, being the authorized custodian of major brands such as Toyota, Hino, Yamaha, and now Suzuki. It was established in 1999, and it is 100% owned by CFO Group, the largest Toyota distributor in Africa. Currently, it has 527 employees and has a vast sales, service, and spare parts network, totaling 29 outlets across the country. Other subsidiaries of Toyota Kenya include Toyota Training Academy that seeks to empower the youth by training them in automotive technology, business and language skills. Finally, Toyota Kenya Foundation, a foundation that seeks to provide opportunities for Kenyan children from disadvantaged families to pursue either basic or high school education. That said, let's get the nitty gritty from the Toyota MD who will shed some more light on the company. I'm at the Toyota Kenya showroom and with me is the big boss, the big kahuna, Mr. Arvinda Ryu, who's the MD of Toyota Kenya, and I'm at his house trying to find out what's going to happen here. Mr. Arvinda, can you to the show? Yes, sir. Thank you. First things first, who's Mr. Arvinda as a person? Arvinda Ryu is my name. Yes. I'm the managing director of Toyota Kenya, a position I took over in 2017. After having been away out of Kenya for 14 years, I was posted back in 2003 to Toyota Zambia, as a financial director, then I moved on to South Africa for seven years where I, I grew up to the position of general manager for the distributor management team, uh, looking after the Africa divisions, after which I moved in 2014 to Toyota Malawi as an MD and then came back in 2016, took over as the deputy MD, deputizing for our Japanese MD and then 2017 in July took over as the MD of Toyota. Well, congratulations. Great man has been an insider of some sort. Now that you're on the helm, tell me, what is your vision for Toyota um, in relation to Kenya's vision 2030 going forward? The vision for us is to be a company where customers love to visit and people love to work. Ideally, we'd like each and every customer to come and enjoy the Toyota experience. And that's why we want to move away from the product-oriented company to a customer-focused company. In line with the 2030 vision, we are looking at maybe expanding our CKD production or introducing more models so that we can help with the industrialization plan which Kenya has towards 2030. Toyota, 
and CFR. What's the relation between the two? CFAO is now a TTC company and so is Toyota Kenya. CFR having experience within Africa. Uh, our reporting lines are through CFAO to TTC. Uh, CFAO operates in 53 countries out of the 54 in Africa. It's 2019, brand new year. What do you expect from Toyota Kenya? Any new models that we should anticipate? We're introducing the Suzuki range yes. under Toyota Kenya which is expected to be end of January to February. Suzuki will also be part of Toyota, one of the franchises within Toyota Kenya. We have a huge population of young Kenyans who are coming out of our education system. Does the Toyota Training Academy offer such opportunities for anybody who wants to engage in you know, vehicle maintenance and mechanics to come and be part of the Toyota family? Yes, through, through the Toyota Kenya Academy, we are offering different courses uh, for mechanical training and not just automotive, we are actually offering mechanical and automotive and non-automotive wow. training through the academy. So I, I, I like to request and urge anybody who is interested, please put in your applications to come through for those courses. Let's use the Toyota Kenny Academy apart from just the normal courses uh, in the automotive sector. We also uh, provide driver training, uh, fleet maintenance, packages so that people can also look after their vehicles. That's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two of Cars with Big Boy Trev.